the Alpine Loop, Alpine Butterfly, the Lineman's Rider, the Lineman's Loop Knot, a few names that this knot is known by, but I think it's more commonly known as the Alpine Butterfly Loop or Knot. And this is a wonderful way of tying a loop in the bite of a rope. And I've done a video on this previously. And in the previous video, and I'll put a link up somewhere on the screen, a link will come up with a little eye on it, and it'll show you how to get to that video. And that was using the twisted method. However, since doing that original video, I've decided to revise it because I found a quicker and easier way of tying this knot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to untie this and then I'll show you how to tie it and it's probably one of the quickest loops that you can tie into, a, into the bite of a rope. So I'll see you again on the other side and let's get knotting. So this particular new loop knot is one of the easiest ones in the world to tie. And all I do is I get hold of the part of the rope where I want to create my loop and all I'm going to do is just pass it over my hand like so. Let's, let's just make sure we've got that in picture. So pass it over my hand like so. I then take one end and I pass it over my hand again for a second time. And then once I've done that, I pass it around the back of my hand and over my hand now for a third time. Let's just bring those up together. So as you can see here now, one, two, three. And so I've got three passes on, my, on the palm of my hand there. The next thing I do is I take my fingers and I go underneath the right hand one here. So I'm going to go underneath the right hand one here and get hold of the center one and pull the center one underneath. And as I'm pulling it, just pull as much as you need for approximately the size of loop that you want to create. So I've taken a fair chunk out here and then the next thing I'm going to do is I pass all of that that I've taken out over those two. So as you can see, I've gone from the middle, taken it to the outside and now I've gone over both of them and then when I've gone over both, I then go underneath both. Take that loop underneath both like so, and then start to pull it up. And then as I pull up on this, gradually pull it up, keep pulling it nice and even. And then as I do it, as you can see here now, there we have it. The Alpine butterfly loop has now come into play here. And so it's a really, really, it's a fantastic knot. I think, it, I believe it's one of the securest knots that you can use to create a loop in. And climbers use it. However, word of warning everybody, if you're following my instructions, don't go climbing with it because I'd hate to say I could be wrong. And if you end up in a snotty heap on the floor somewhere, yeah, don't blame me. I have warned you. Check it first. Make Get a professional to confirm that this is correct if you're going climbing with this one. But here we go. We now have the Alpine Butterfly Loop here. And no matter now whichever direction I pull in, that is not coming undone at all. And we've got a permanent loop in the bite of our cord like so. So let me just undo that again. And I'll show you one more time just how to tie this one. So... Basically, get the cord and pass, my, pass it over my hand like so. Then I get one end and I go over my hand for a second time. So as you can see, I've got one, two, go over for a third time like so. So I've got one, two, three. And then all I do is go underneath the right hand one, go underneath the right hand one, and then pull through as big a loop as I want. So I'm going to pull through, let's see, pull through about that much. And then once I've pulled through that much, I take the end of that loop, I pass it over the two going over my hand like so, and then underneath. And so easy this one. If you, Once you've tied this one once, you're not going to forget it. It's just going to be one of those that you remember all the time. And then just tighten up on all ends here. And there we go. We have one in number, Alpine Butterfly Loop, all the other names that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So once again, thank you everybody for watching. Please, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. 
Thumbs down if you absolutely hated it. If you hated it or liked it, please leave me a comment. Tell me if you've ever used this knot before in anger. And as you all know, those who already commented, I do reply to all comments. So once again, thanks for watching and let's get knotting. Bye-bye.